hello everyone welcome back this is the sixth video i'm creating the last video was on purchasing inventory yes with cash with money not on credit so in this video we are going to create uh we are going to purchase on credit then i will show you how those other information i inserted when creating a vendor Oshiki, if you remember earlier joint enterprise when creating that vendor i'll show you how this information will come up when buying on credit you know this last video was on buying on with cash so it only shows the address and the uh, class you understand but now it's going to show us other options that so you can make a purchase order if you don't make a purchase order you leave that so let me just go straight to receiving inventory with bill so bill means we are buying on credit so we want to buy this with on credit we don't want to pay now we want to buy on credit so i'm clicking on that and receive inventory with bill now this to this date which is correct so now let's select a vendor and i told you i'm going to select oshiki so this oshiki is only shown in my quick book but if i want to print check or whatever it's going to show LAOJ Enterprises. So let's click on Oshiki. Now you see that other informations will come up, like the terms, terms of payment. Uh, yeah, the term. So you can see the term now is reflecting here as net 15 because I'm buying on credit. Now it did not reflect when I was buying with cash because I'm not buying on credit. So there's no need for me give for you. <laughs> there's no need of you giving me time there. So but here now I'm buying on credit. It means it will be due in the next. Uh, 15 days you understand but if I want this particular now that's why you are saying the bill due date is showing 15 of April that is this is 31st this is the end of March now 15 days to this but if I want to be more specific let me see okay I want to bring a discount in let me see two percent then net th three now you see now discount date will come up and this date will also change because Net 30 means in the next 30 days, so that's why you have a build due date as eh? 30 days. Now, if you have a different date, you can change that or you create another term for it. Just, uh, just like we created for, i show you how to create the other time, but right now actually create. Now, the discount date is a uh, fourth, that is to say, in the 10 days now, 10 days, 10th of fourth, you can see that is when the discount of this two percent will apply so quickbook will not forget that it automatically apply that you can you can set it to automatically apply or you apply it yourself whenever you want to pay this transaction within these 10 days but if it passes these 10 days there is no discount date again it is now due date that will remain and that due date now once it is passed that 30 days quickbook will remind you you can see all these things are very very important because it will also keep you up alive to inform you that okay your product this is this is we bought the bill this is the bill as due you yeah, go ahead and pay so that before your supplier will start uh, ringing your phone for you okay uh that's that okay mm. now you can see there is no reference number here it might be that the last bill i created doesn't have okay let me just first of all bring up the item then i'll show you how to make the adjustment i'm buying diamond on credit you can see i'm buying diamond on credit so that one five is still show i mean i'm not buying let me see i'm just buying one you understand so you can see that one five is still showing even though i use one six then it's because i told them that i'm not changing it you understand so i think every information here is good to go now the class also is reflecting as abuja i used to say this particular customer Oshiki is located in Abuja okay you can see now the recent transaction I uh, incurred with Oshiki you can see I wrote check on this 31st for 48 you can see and the credit limit is 35,000 okay let me try and uh, buy on credit up to that amount so that we we'll see how uh, let's say I want to buy let's say 15 2500 okay, let's say 25 25 okay we have 3750 so we want to buy this on credit okay now i'm supposed to use a reference number for this bill 
uh, though I did not purchase, I did not make a purchase order, but not still withstanding. Let me let me save first of all. Save and close. Good. I want this option to come up so that you see why <clears throat> you can see that QuickBook remembers that you actually create a credit limit. So I told QuickBook that this particular vendor only give me a limit of thirty five thousand. <clears throat> that is a limit of credit I can buy. Now you can see that my uh, this thing is showing me that it's thirty seven five hundred. Now QuickBook the credit limit for Shiki is thirty five thousand. The current balance, including this transaction, is thirty seven five hundred. Continue yes or no. So, so maybe it might be by a mistake or something like that so maybe i forgot and maybe oshiki is very very strict about it that is 35, 35 so i cannot go back and click on no and continue i can still continue from here to carry out the transaction so you can still say yes but to remind you now you have changed the time you know i changed this time that it was net 15 so i changed it to uh two percent net 10 net so quick also remind you that you have changed that you want to go ahead I can see go ahead and save <coughs> that transaction now if you want to see those bill now I'll go back to receive inventory with bill mm, receive inventory with bill. I want to actually know why because it's supposed to increment the reference number is supposed to increment I want to actually know why there is no number here could be automatically give me a number let me go back to the previous this is the one I just created. Let me go to previous. <coughs> now you can see we have 004. The previous one is 002. Followed by 001. Okay, I think that's the first one. 001. <coughs> Excuse me. 002. Uh, 004. Okay. Now this should be 005. 005. Okay. Now it will not change anything. It's only add this figure here. So I will save and close again. It's not going to create another transaction. It's, not going, it's just going to save that uh, information. Yeah. Okay. Now this transaction is completed. Now how do we know that it is completed? Let's go to balance sheet and we have to refresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can see my 10800 is still reflecting as 10800 nothing changed because i did not buy this with cash i actually bought it on credit but if you look at account payable account payable is going to reflect an amount and if you know your account if you know your account process very very well you should know the account that you have affected to affect this account you can see we have 57 it it for double click on this figure to bring up all the transactions that have occurred in inventory you can see we have 37500 below here which is very very correct let's go back to balance sheet the next account is going to affect is going to affect our account payable which is here let's double click on it you see that there's an addition of 37 500 uh which is here you can see formerly it was 16 now it is 37 500 so our transaction is correct and complete so this is the sixth video <coughs> you understand uh remaining extra four that i'm going to make once again my name is abdul fatai muniru as you can see on the title bar abdul fatai muniru enterprise and that picture the other handsome dude <laughs> okay bye for this class uh for this video actually see you in the next video